Soybeans produced in central Illinois go to the Decatur Processing Market. And WCI 3's Ag reporter Stu Ellis has more in this morning's report from the farm. Instead of 375 truckloads of corn from Legacy Grain being hauled to Decatur, that 375,000 bushels of corn will soon have a train ticket to new markets. Well, Stu, we're um, expanding our rail loading capabilities here at the Stonington Elevator. We're going to uh, have the ability to load uh, about 100, 800 cars on the Norfolk Southern. Currently, we can load 50 cars, um, and then we're going to have the ability to weigh those cars as well. General Manager Kevin Walker says a mile-long double track is being installed. We're going to put track in down to the south of town here. Um, and that's, uh, that'll help hold uh, the 100 cars. Okay, why are we doing something like this? Well, we're just trying to um, uh, get opportunities or find uh, additional market opportunities for our customers. Um, we're cooperative here, and, and um, the mission of the cooperative is to pro provide our customers with um, uh, competitive markets uh, for their grain. And we'd be able to get into the Gulf or the southeastern poultry market, uh, into the east, um, into some markets in the east. So it's going to, there's a lot of additional opportunities we'd be able to hit. We're uh, putting in a new unloader underneath this concrete house uh, and, um, and then a new uh, leg, a 60,000 bushel an hour leg um, that'll elevate the corn up to, where, to the actual bulk wear that loads into the cars. Okay. So, so it, that'll load a car in a very short period? Yeah, about four minutes uh, to load a car is what it should take. Um, if, if we have enough courage to run it that hard. Well, we're gonna, it's going to take some time to learn it. But. Timetable on the project? Uh, we're hoping to be complete by uh, 1st of November. So okay. um, this elevator will be op operational this fall, um, but uh, the whole project probably won't be complete until sometime in early November. 375,000 bushels, one train load at a time. That's our report from the farm. I'm Stu Ellis with WCIA3, your local news leader.